Many businesses in New York suffered severe damage or disruption, billions of dollars of lost economic activity. Specific industries like fishing and the coastal seasonal industries really took a hard hit. Our small business recovery program will provide grants, not loans, grants of up to $50,000 or in certain circumstances $100,000 to each business. We'll make available very low interest loans under 2% with $200 million in financing. This can be used for inventory replacement, for repair facilities, and for replacing lost revenue, which is one of the things that's been most important uh, to businesses in the, re in the region. Now, our plan for these programs still needs federal approval, but we're not waiting to start to work with people on their aid packages. We're taking applications online. These applications are available now for businesses, for homeowners, and for uh, individuals that need aid. Between New York, New Jersey, and Connecticut, we requested $80 billion in supplemental federal assistance. Uh, we received $60 billion to give us a head start. There are some important things to know about this federal aid as we plan for the future. First of all, it covers the whole country. It's not just New York, New Jersey, and Connecticut. They passed it for everywhere. They also passed it for every storm that had taken place in the last two years and every storm that might take place for the rest of this year. So this is not $60 billion just for our region. There's no specific allocation for New York State, but it's not why Congress said, okay, here's $60 billion, and New York, you get X amount. It doesn't really work that way. We think at the end of the day, we'll get about $35 billion of the $60 billion because of the case that we've made. And the money doesn't come to us in one check. There are 18 different federal programs. Each has its own rules. It has its own regulations. And in some cases, they haven't published the regulations yet. So this is the federal government. I was there. There's a process we have to go through. They haven't turned the spigot on yet. It's starting to dribble in. The main point is they don't write us a check and get out of the way. It's a little frustrating. People have been waiting for this aid, particularly if you are a homeowner, you're a business, and you're still living with a distressed situation. While the federal process is out of our hands, our goal is actually very simple. When the federal government does make the funds available, we get them to the people that need, that, need them. Sandy, for us, I think has created a moment in time that requires us to think about and plan for what the next 100 years are going to look like. This isn't just about repairing the stuff that happened from Sandy, but planning for 2100. The people in this room, you, along with the local governments and the state government, will have a great impact on what New York 2100 does look like, on how we work with the natural environment to protect and grow the region. On behalf of the governor, we're ready to use Sandy as a pivot point to build a more resilient New York, a smarter New York, a new New York with all of you.